Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking to you about Beautyworks taping hair extensions and showing you how I put my own in my hair. So if you're interested to see how I do it, then just continue. So dangerous, I get this welcome my name is Juliet and I do three videos a week on all sorts so if you do like this kind of video there is a little subscribe button down there in red somewhere I would love for you to click that and stick around it's completely free and entirely up to you but without further ado let's get into today's video so if you are new to my channel you may not know but I actually have really thin fine hair and I find tape extensions the best kind of semi-permanent extensions to wear because my hair can be quite brittle as well. So I do find that they are the best and most natural in my hair. It is very curly today, by the way, because I've done the heatless curls, which I will make sure I link up here if you want to see how I've done them, but they are overly curly today. But anyway, let's get straight into a Beautyworks tape extensions. Okay, so I'm probably gonna do another video about all different types of extensions because if you've clicked on this video, you probably just wanna know how to fit them. So I will run through quickly kind of what they are, but if you want me to do another video more on all kinds of extensions, I will do. The ones that I picked up were the Celebrity Choice Beauty Works taping extensions so this is how they arrive and i will get one out just to show you if you don't know already so this is what a taping extension looks like so you have the tapes at the top and you put a piece of natural hair between the two and sandwich it together like so making them almost invisible in the hair beauty works extensions are expensive I'm not going to lie and say they aren't. They really, really are. Probably the most expensive brand in the UK. However, they are beautiful and worth every penny. They are thick to the ends. They are really good condition. And I've had, this is the second fitment. So I've had mine in since November and it is now February. Um, I've refit them once, but the quality is still amazing. Even with curling and washing, it's just, they are really, really good. So quality wise, I highly recommend them. Now, now, price wise, I will tell you how much I bought them, paid for them. So these are the 16 inch slimline tape extensions in Scandinavian blonde. And I had two packs for £244.98. So it would have been £122.50 per pack. Now you get, I'm pretty sure you get 16 pieces. So that is eight sandwiches. And because my hair is really thin and fine, I only needed two packs and there was still like, as you can see in here, one, two, three, four tapes left over. So two packs was enough to do this kind of thickness. And this is my hair length underneath let me see if i can find a natural piece so that is my hair length underneath so it's only a tiny bit longer but i have my extensions more for volume so how long the hair lasts so i've actually had this in i put it in november i had it in for six weeks i took them out and reapplied them and i've had them in for about another six weeks so that is how long i've had this hair but they do say that it can last up to six months that would be almost six refits and i do think that that is possible out this hair so now I'm going to get straight in to unboxing and applying the hair extensions and talk you through exactly how you do it. Okay, so I'm going to try and film me doing this, but I just want to show you what it looks like with nothing in my hair. So I probably should straighten this if I'm honest. So I probably will just whiz the straighteners over it to make sure it's dead straight before I start putting them in because I do think that really helps. Second of all, make sure you wash your hair, but only with shampoo. Don't condition it, just leave it as is. So I have just shampooed my hair. I've not conditioned it i've not put any product in it i've even let it dry naturally so it's completely free of any chemicals then these are the extensions i'm going to be putting in today so these are the beauty works celebrity are they called celebrity choice slimline tape in extensions these are in shade scandinavian blonde they come in packs of 16 so that is eight sandwiches so i have bought two packs um i nearly bought three but if i'm honest my hair is really thin and fine i can generally not get much more than this in any way um as you can see i don't like to wear them too high either and i do like to put my hair up a lot so i tend to only put like three on each side at the front which always seems enough because look I mean, I haven't got that much hair there anyway. Shade match wise, I'm normally aware, I've always worn like a 613, which is a light blonde. It 
varies of what the name is across brands I'm growing out my hair as you can see so i wanted something that matched and i think that that is a pretty good shade match i think my hair is maybe a tiny bit lighter i don't know actually i don't think that's pretty bang on these roots are definitely a lot lower than mine but i think that is going to help my natural hair actually look less rooty um i love that color i'm really loving the darker blonde so yeah let's just get these in that's how it's going to look i'm so excited so what i'm going to try and do is i'm going to try and turn round normally i would use the big mirror to do mine in but i'm going to try and turn around so that i can film how i can set it up so you can see it best um, and then I'm going to try and do a voiceover over of how I fit them at home. I have done this video before, but I'm just doing it because I'm trying a new brand. I'm also trying a different colour, so I thought, why not film it? So you have to excuse the mess behind me. If you are new to my channel, you don't know, but we are redoing the house. So my room is probably the worst, <laughs> but it's the best for light and mirrors. So yeah, let's get straight into it okay so you might think i spend so much time with my sectioning but honestly the most important part of putting tape extensions in is getting all your sections right so right here i'm making sure that my first row starts an inch from the bottom and from the nape of my neck and i will also make sure that it comes an inch in from the side and the reason for this is so that when you wear your hair up you cannot see any extensions at all so this is the first sandwich i've taken the tape off and what i've done is i've gone from the middle of my head I've gone to a tiny bit to the left. When you put your extension in, you don't want to go straight to the roots because that might pull. So fold it back up on itself. Just make sure there is no hair pulling in any way. Because you've put this tape in like this, it's going to pick up all the hairs that it can. And what I'm doing is just getting a tail comb, pulling down any extra ones. So I've untaped the second sandwich and now I'm going to line it up to that first piece. You want to make sure all the edges are lined up as best as possible because you don't want it to pick up any other hairs as that might cause pulling and you really do not want that because it is uncomfortable. Push the tape together. I'll use a comb to just push it a bit more. And then finally what I do is just get the straighteners, go over the actual bond and straighten the hair. Next you want to take your second piece, so again feel for the middle of your hair and then just put the section just to the right of it. You don't want to overlap at all but you don't want to leave a massive gap either so just leave a nice comfortable couple of millimetres and then pop in your next tape extension. So follow the same process making sure it's not too close to the root. You push it down so it grabs all the natural hair that it can and then when you flip it up like so it should pull all the hair that it needs. Now we used to do them the other way around but I have learned over years of experience that this seems to be the best way you can see there that there is some hair that hasn't adhered to the tape and that is the ones that i'm just pulling away you don't want to get them stuck in the middle because they will cause pulling you don't want to have any hair loss so once i've got all those hairs that should be stuck stuck i will then again i will then get my second piece and again make sure my edges marry up and put that on top of the other piece you want to try and get this right because they will be really really sticky and once you stick it together you will struggle to get it off without pulling your hair and you really don't want to pull your hair unnecessarily so once that's out the clip i will just flip the extension up and down just to make sure there's no hairs pulling and then again get the straighteners slightly over the bond and to the ends of the hair just to smooth it all out and make sure everything is okay and that is it that is your first row done what i can always do at this stage is get the hair and pull it up into like a pony so you can just see that no tape extensions will be showing when you have your hair up And now we're on to the next section. So with my section in, there's so many different ways you can do it, but I tend to stick to like a brick effect. So again, I make sure I go in my tail comb and make sure all the lines are neat. I then get my first half of the sandwich and go right in the middle of my head. So it is overlapping the other two below, if you get what I mean. So they're staggered like a brick effect that you can see. So on the first line, I've had two extensions. And on this line, I will go for three, one in the middle, 
on one on each side so I've popped that in again pushed it down so it's picking up all the hair that it needs to then flipped it up into the clip and again I will get my tail comb and take away any unnecessary hairs that don't need to go into the extension then I've got my other half and again I'm going to line it up make sure all the edges are straight and stick it down and make sure that it's all adhered together So I'm just straightening out the last tape extension of that row and as you can see there is three in that row You cannot see them when I hold my hair up and they are far enough in from the sides that you cannot see them from the sides either So on to the next row and the next row is going to be a little bit more complicated Because you're going to start going around the front of your hair also So you're still going to follow the same effect and go a brick effect So you had three in the one below so now I will be going with five in this row So that they are all stepping around the ones below but also so I'm going to bring them up diagonally up this side so that I've got some in the sides of the hair to add volume there also. So I'm going to be moving around quite a lot but I'm just checking that all the measurements are right. You again want to make sure it's about an inch away from the tops of your ears so that you can't see them when you put your hair up and also you want to be checking that they are level on each side and that is what I'm doing right here. So this will be my final row at the back and like I said I don't like to go too high up my head for the reason that I've got thin and fine hair. If you have got thicker hair you can go further up, you may need to so that the extensions look right and they blend right with the rest of your hair but for me this is as far up as I will go so I'm just going to fast forward me through putting the three at the back like a brick effect and then I will show you a little bit more when I get to the sides So when you get to the sides of your head I like to follow the shape of the head and go up a little bit diagonally at the front and this really just helps integrate the extensions a little bit better I find but also when you wear your hair up it is just a lot more comfortable to have the extensions go with the flow as it were as opposed to be fighting against it if you are tying it up all the time. So that is one pack down and I'm just going to open the next pack now just to kind of fill out the sides more than anything. Actually just wanted to slow the video down here and talk to you a little bit about the kind of hair that I have because after I did my last video a lot of people said oh these damage your hair you can see bald spots and I just want to show you here while I'm fitting this extension just how thin and fine my hair actually is and you can see my scalp more than ever especially because I've got darker roots now but I haven't bleached my hair or had any extensions in for almost probably 12 months now and I just wanted to show this because I wanted to highlight that it's not actually extensions or bleach that ruin my hair it is just literally the type of hair that I have and there's nothing I can do about it so using extensions just makes me feel more confident I do really like seamless clipping extensions to wear in the interim but I do find that they actually put more pressure on my hair because the amount of hair in the wefts is heavier so tape extensions tend to be a little less stressful on your natural hair if that makes sense mm -hmm. 
so I'm just basically working out the placement for the last like four so um, I'm just gonna put two more on each side um, I've got five left so yeah exactly how many I thought um, I'm just gonna put two so two and two and then I think that is me done so when you're placing your extensions around the front the same rules just apply really just make sure you don't get them too close to the front of your hairline make sure you don't get them too close to the root make sure they're bricked from the tape extensions below and you are good to go I'm just having one last look because I don't like going too high because I've got really thin fine hair um, although you can't see it when I tie them back I'm just debating whether to put one more in but I think that might be pushing it if I'm honest um, so I think I'm going to stick where I'm at what I am going to add here is I didn't stick where I was. I actually cut a tape extension in half and put another half in each side. This is the one thing I love about tape extensions. You can cut them in half and make them even smaller and more discreet so that they work well with my kind of hair. So this is the 16 inch. Might have to lose a little bit here from my bottom row. But other than that, I'm really pleased with that blend. I think it blends really, really well. You cannot see what's mine and what's the tapes which I'm really chuffed with I'm just going to give it all a straight and all over just obviously because these bits are kinked because they've been off and just triple triple check that I'm happy and then I will show you the after it guys that is them all fitted so one thing I just want to quickly show you as well that I didn't show when I was fitting it is actually afterwards I fit two more extensions and right at the top and let me just show you on camera because it's just going to be easier so another really good tip with tape extensions is you can actually cut them in half to make them a little bit more flexible and so you can actually get a little bit more movement and also they are even more discreet so as you can see here right at the top I've got one more tape extension here and it's actually one that has been cut in half and the reason I do this is just so I can put them a little close to the top you still can't see them but I've got a little bit of extra thickness and length in the front so this is my hair now this is the second time I've fitted them and they have been in for four weeks so they have got quite a bit of growth on they will be being taken out very soon to be refitted but I just wanted to show you them an update and the reason I haven't done this is straight away is I wanted to wear them for a few months and see how I got on because I wanted to test the quality and see how good they actually are after wearing them I can confirm that beauty works extensions are worth the money I feel I feel that the quality is there and I feel that they have washed really really well so I have actually been using Olaplex number no. six this is the bond smoother and I do really love this on my extensions I really feel when I dry them it gives them such a silky finish now beauty works do do a lot of products that are great as well I do really like this 10 in 1 miracle spray which I had testers when I bought my beauty works so I've tried this and I love it and I also do really like 
the argan oil daily treatment because i had this little tester too now would i buy it again i probably would buy the oil again but this olaplex does work wonders with them another thing that i just have to say for caring for your extensions make sure you use sulfate free shampoo and conditioner because otherwise it will break down the bonds of the tape and you don't want that to happen because they will slow down your hair and also it's not very good for the hair quality itself either so yeah that is it that is how i fit my beauty works tape in hair extensions if you have any other questions or if i've missed anything please drop it in the comments below and i will answer it for you and if you do want to see a video like i say of me talking about different types of extensions especially for thinner and fine hair i am more than happy to do that video for you as well so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i would love for you to subscribe and stick around and until next time guys take care bye